So I'm in Boxmoor in Hemel Hempstead, where James Blackman Snook was hanged in 1802 in a field just over there. Uh, he's believed to be the last highwayman hanged at the scene of his crime. James Blackman Snooks, also known as Robert, was the last man to be executed for highway robbery at the scene of his crime in England. The execution took place on the 11th of March 1802, where Snooks, who was born in Berkshire in August 1761, was hanged. The Robert moniker is thought to derive from a corruption of the word robber. The details of Snooks' fateful crime are that on the evening of Sunday the 10th of May 1801, he held up a postboy called John Stevens, who was carrying several bags of mail from Tring to Hemel Hempstead. At the secluded site in Boxmoor, Snooks struck threatening Stevens and making off with banknotes, promissory notes and letters to the value of around £80. The robber later discarded the unwanted letters and leather bags they were stored in, leaving them strewn across the moor. On the 11th of March 1802, the London Chronicle revealed that a saddle with a broken strap was also dumped by Snook, a fateful error as it would transpire. The saddle was used to identify the robber. The day after the theft, Postmaster and High Constable John Page initiated investigations into the crime. It was then that several people came forward and stated that they remembered seeing a man at the King's Arms fixing a broken girth strap on his saddle. It was believed that the culprit works at the King's Arms as an ostler and thus would have had some knowledge of the postboy's route. The culprit was identified as James Snook, who was already a wanted man after a number of robberies between Bath and Salisbury. He was also indicted for horse thefts at the Old Bailey in 1799, but was acquitted as evidence was too flimsy to gain a conviction. A reward of £200 for Snook's capture was offered, in addition to a parliamentary fixed rate of £100 for apprehension of highwaymen. This hefty sum meant that Snook's days were numbered. He was subsequently captured in Marlborough Forest on the 8th of December 1801 by postboy William Salt who apprehended Snook with the help of his passengers. Stevens was unable to positively identify Snook as it was dark when he was robbed but a banknote that had previously been in the highwayman's possession was said to have been from the stolen hall. Thus the crime was pinned on Snook. After first being held at Newgate Prison he was later transferred to Hartford Jail on the 4th of March 1802 whilst awaiting trial. Five days later, the trial took place and he was found guilty. Highway robbery would ordinarily carry a sentence of transportation to a penal colony. However, it was successfully argued that Snook's crime was of a nature so destructive to society and the commercial interests of the country that he was sentenced to be hanged. The execution took place two days after the sentencing on public ground nearest to the scene of the crime as the law required. It is believed that thousands of people flocked to see the hanging. One tale of that fateful day recounts how Snook, en route to the gallows, is said to have told ghouls who went to see him die, it's no good hurrying, they can't start the fun until I get there. Snook's final resting place is somewhere on the moor, believed to be close to a marker placed at the site in 1904, which stands there to this day. Hertfordshire was also said to have been visited by another highwayman, the infamous Dick Turpin. Turpin was said to have frequented pubs in the county during his 1730s reign of terror, including the Eight Bells in Hatfield. A story tells how the Essex gang outlaw was said to have mounted a daring escape by jumping out of a window at the Eight Bells onto his horse, the legendary Black Bess. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. And thank you for watching.